guys, I'm Doodle and this is kind of like a tutorial of some sort. You may have seen this type of video circling around YouTube called like I try this person's tutorial. It's mostly for beauty people but I've seen like a few artists doing this as well over the past few weeks and stuff and I wanted to give it a try because well I'm going to be following this tutorial anyway so I might as well just make like a video out of it and see how it goes. Um, I attempted to make a Copic case for myself out of like that foam board stuff. It looked easy enough, you know. Bailey J did it. Hers looks pretty good, you know. Thought I could do it too and I wanted it to hang on my wall because I don't have any room on my desk and I don't really have any room to put anything anywhere else in my room. So. I need the space so I decided to make like little teeny pods to hang on my wall out of that. It didn't work. It didn't work. Let me show you. This is my failed attempt. It's bent. It's got glue like all over the place. It's misshapen as you can see. Slanted. And it won't hang this way which is the way I wanted it to hang. It just falls off. So I tried to hang it this way but that's like unpractical because I can't see which Copic markers I'm picking up. And also it just looks ugly on my wall, so failed attempt. No thank you. So I posted that on a Discord that I'm a part of and one of my friends on there was like, hey, you, I'll suggest this video and I'm like, dude, this is saving my life. This is, this looks easier than I thought it could ever be. So. I got myself oh, my bad, a mailing tube. I think it's a three by oh three by forty two mailing tube. Pretty big, and I think I can make a few out of these. Um, so I'm going to follow that tutorial. Oh my god, I can't remember who the person is. Hold on. Oh thank God, Discord let me click on a link. It never does. Um, the person is C Lemon. I'm going to follow C Lemon's DIY pen holder wall storage tutorial and I guess we'll just see how it goes. Hopefully it's easy enough. It looks easy enough, so let's get on. Okay, it seriously doesn't look like my camera can see me right now. It's like angled this way and I'm like at the back of, but cameras are strange so I, I already made sure I, you can see me. It's just throwing me off, but anyway. Watching the video, gonna see how to do this. I already watched it, but I'm going to refresh my mind because I was like, I think a week ago. I'm pretty sure I got all the tools that I need though. Got the mailing tube, which is the biggest tool that you possibly need in this. I don't have an exacto knife. I don't know where mine went. It just disappeared. So I got, instead, some wood carving tools in various shapes and sizes. I chose this one out of those because it, it was the most practical out of those that I could find. So wood carving tools instead of exacto knives. That's what I'm going to be using today. Um, tape. Uh, obviously the Copic markers. Cutting board. This thingy. Okay, let's watch. Let's see if we got everything. Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. Hey. If you've been following my channel, you know that I have, I have not, a pen but I addiction. Now. The addiction is real, and so is the need to organize them. In this video, I'll show you how she I has organize all kinds of different all pens. Of I only have how Copics. to make this DIY. Pens. I went with a mailing tube that is two inches in diameter and thirty-six oh, I got inches a bigger in length, <laughs> and you can choose any size that you think will fit your pens one, the best. I removed the cap and then used one of my pens to determine the length of the holder. All pens come in different lengths, but I went with a size that allowed about a half inch to an inch to stick out. So I'm going to measure out four and a half inch sections on the tube. Neat. Okay, let's see how big... Oh, I'm gonna take this thing off. See how big this is. The pen inside. Say about that much. How do I, I'm gonna do it on the outside so I know. So, that would be there, right here. I need a pencil as well. 
Ignore my dirty desk. My snail's cage also acts as a holder for things because they're currently in hibernation. Oh my god, that's not gonna work. Okay. Right there. Can I hold this? Oh my god, this is not gonna work. This is not gonna work. Let me just lay this down for a sec. Remeasure this because that is definitely off. Okay, right there. Right here. That is where we should we should cut the first one. Right there. Right. Right there. Um, I'm going to have to um, move to the floor because my desk space is not big enough for all of this crap. But I'm going to finish watching the tutorial to see how the rest of it goes. And wrapped removable tape around the left of each mark so that I have an even guide to cut along. Okay. If you don't cut along the marks that I made along the tape with a utility knife. I found the best method if you are cutting with this a is to go knife. in short, to slow, small hooks with the knife. When I would try to that cut in a cut. continuous straight line or too fast, oh, I found God. the edges turned out jagged, no. so okay, I just I'm stuck have to get with a this utility method. Knife. Ask for help if you need holding, so I skipped that right, and this is what I, I used I a small sawtooth hanger instead. I have them in my, um, my aunt's toolbox, but I don't have them right here, so I'll have to get that. You'll want to use the glue that is made for metal and glue that on the glue end of one of the tubes. Glue that's made for metal. I don't have that either. I made Crap. sure to- And just to give you another idea, you don't have to put these on the wall. You could skip the hanger and just place them on your desk like this. I don't have room on my and desk. And they will still function as a pen holder. It seems easier to do it to that way anyway. On my wall. I hope this to works have... with thumbtacks because I don't think I could use- I, c I don't think I should hammer. I don't think I could hammer because my neighbors are kind of like, you know, I don't want to disturb my neighbors by hammering things all day. Plus hammers are kind of, or nails are kind of more difficult to get out of the wall when we move. I'll, I might try it with the thumbtacks at first and if they don't hold, I, I'll just do the hammer. Wow. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Just uh, cut this into the size that I need. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to get a lot out of these. Yeah. I'm going to get at least like five or six out of these. So, um, I'm not going to be able to do the tutorial right now because I need a, a cutting thing because this, this will not, it just won't go through. It's just too thick. Can't, can't get it to go through, it's too much. So, I'm going to have to come back to this in a few days. So, see you then. Alright. We got everything here. I got a marker, <laughs> Copic marker, ready to go to measure. Um, the, the glue, I didn't... The tutorial says... The tutorial says to get uh, metal glue. This is multi-use glue but it says bonds metal there so I'm hoping this works I tried using it to glue a picture frames um, metal hooky thing back to it and it didn't stick so I'm really hoping this works I don't know if it's going to but I got that um, I don't know my knife the blades for it uh, this dude, I, this is the only one I have, so I'm gonna have to make that work. Um, tape, and the mailing tube, and the pencil. Wow, pencil. First things first, we gotta measure out. I measure this out to see, let it stick out that much, how about that, um, I'm going to have to measure it this way because I can't see. So. You know what? I'm just going to do this. 
There you go. That's good. So mark that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but marked the pencil right here. That's where we're going to be cutting. And now we got to measure that out. Hold on. Double tape around the left of each mark so that I have an even guide to cut along. Okay. You don't the left of each mark. Where did the mark go? Oh, right here. Alright, this is the left, right? Yeah, this is the left. I'm not sure how even this is going to be. Really hoping it's even. It looks like it's not. Oh, that is not even. Oh, that. That's not even. That's not even at all. How do you make sure it's even? Mine uneven cuts, you don't have to do this, but I am nerdy like that. <laughs> well, how do you make sure it's even, though? Because I can, like, put it to the thing, the line, but then it, like, curves as I'm going around on its own. Somehow. It's gonna have to be good enough. I don't... It's not going to be even whatsoever. I'm just gonna have to do some trimming later because it's not as easy as it looks. It's not as easy as it looks at all. I repeated that step measuring out four and a half inch sections along the entire table. Okay. Four and a half inch sections or however long sections that I have. I wish I had something different than this. Do I? I don't. I don't have anything different than this, so we're just going to have to make this work even though this thing is here. And it's ruining everything right now. It is like four and a half inches. From the bottom of the tape, the top of the tape, right? Okay. I feel like they're getting shorter. I feel like they're getting much shorter. No? I think that's just me. My mind's tri playing tricks on me. Well, there's gonna be a tiny, a small container because there's not enough. So we're going to tape the, oh, the rest of the lines off as best as we can. Oh, that one's much more straight, thank God. I hope you guys can see this. I don't know if you can see any of the stuff that I'm doing right now. Hold on. No, you cannot. I decided that it's better for you to see what I'm actually doing than to see my face. So now you can actually see what's going on down here. Oh, I missed one. <laughs> I was wondering why this one was so long. That one, that one did not turn out too good, but we're just gonna keep going. That's good enough for now. Okay, so we got all of this tape down. This one is bad, ooh, okay. Let's move on. Then cut along the marks that I made along the tape with a utility knife. Okie dokie. All right. This is brand new. I just bought this. I don't... How do you take the, the paper out? Oh, you have to open... What? Wait a minute. I have to... I have to screw it open. One moment. These instructions don't really tell me much. They just say, unscrew, take off back, the end. But where to put the blade, which way to put the blade, and what this thing, where this thing goes. Alright. Got it. So now take this blade, we cut along this line right here. Okay, here's an issue. This is where I started 
right here. Should be right here, right? No. This is where I am right now. I'm all the way up here when I should be down here. So that's an issue. That's a big issue. But we can salvage this. We can salvage this. I'm just going to keep going. Okay, that's not that bad. It's kind of weird here. So this can be the back. And this can be the front. And we'll, we'll figure something out with that. We'll just shave it down a little bit, I guess. I'm not going to do the rest on camera. I'm going to do the rest off camera. We're just going to work with this right now. Okay, I'm going to stop the camera for a second. And I'm going to cut out four more of these. Or three more of these. So, one second. Alright, so I decided to do four more because... The first one was just not, not that good, so I got these four. They did not turn out the same size as each other. I'm not sure what happened with that. Good thing I'm going to paint these because this just looks like crap right now. Alright, it's good enough. Now what? Oh, you glue it right. Glue them down. Um, this might take a while. Okay guys, it's been two days since I since I made the first part of this video. These are all glued together. I did not glue them like this because now I'm going to paint them. I, I realized my mistake. I should have painted them before I glued them together. But I realized my mistake before I glued them all four together. So at least... I'm not trying to get into little teeny crevices like this to paint. I want to paint them different colors to kind of match the markers that are going to be inside. So I got purple, yellow, orange, and blue. I don't have any red paint right now or any other color. I'm just going to color them or paint them like this for now. And I got the paint brushes paint palette tray. Sorry, you can see kind of mess over here. This is my watercolor palette. Just push it back there. You also can kind of see my snail's tank. Let's get the painting. Now this actually kind of goes off of the rails on the tutorial part because the um, painting part is not in the tutorial. I can't remember if she said that she was going to paint them off camera or whatever. It's been a while since I've watched the full tutorial, but um, it's not in the tutorial itself, so I'm just kind of going off the grid for a second to do what I want to do. I cannot get this cap open. <laughs> I literally cannot get this cap open. Oh god. Okay, this one opens more easily. Good. Alright. It's painting time. Oops. I went all over the place. I also didn't think about it. I hope paint doesn't make this a little flimsy. You know what I mean? It shouldn't, I guess. It's really thick cardboard, so it shouldn't make it flimsy, but it's kind of making me nervous. <laughs> I'm also not sure if you're supposed to be painting with acrylic paint on these, but I don't know what else you would paint with. Like watercolor, that's not going to look good. And oil, I don't know. Would oil paint be better? I, I've never painted with oil paint, so I have no idea. hardest part about this is trying to keep this in the camera's sight while I'm doing this because I instinctively want to bring it as close to my face as possible so I can get in those tiny crevices but you can't see that so I'm gonna have to get used to this. didn't realize how hard it was to 
record yourself painting things until I did. Another hard part is getting inside the little hole. You can't really see it that good, but I kind of got like paint on the other one. Found a good way to paint it. Just put it on your arm. That works, right? It's working pretty good for me. Just, you're probably gonna paint your arm a little bit, but you know, it'll come off. Okay, unlike the blue, which covered everything in one coat, the purple is going to meet, need multiple coats. You can still see the pattern underneath, so I'm going to have to come back to this after this dries. to where I was putting my brush apparently and I put it in the blue. Oh, maybe I can salvage this a little bit. 
scrape that off. Scrape that off. At this point, I mean, my desk is all crazy full of paint anyway, so I'm just gonna just gonna put the, the paint back onto my desk. I salvaged it a tiny bit, at least. It looks much better on the camera <laughs> than it does in real life. Oh god. Well, I guess this one's going in the bucket. Okay, um, it's it's been a few months since I, I did this. Um, I don't know where the clip to doing these two are. I have, it's, it disappeared. I don't know if I recorded it anyway. I don't, I, I have no idea what happened. But, as you can see, I, I attempted to tear these off because I kind of needed to because I just could not get in the crevices. And, you know, it, it didn't really work as well as I thought it was going to, but we're going to fix this. It's fine. I'm not tearing these off because of this disaster, so I'm just going to have to work with this. But yeah, it's been a few months since I recorded the last one. I edited everything up until this point, so I know what I did and what I didn't do and all that stuff. So, I guess we should get right into this again. Okay, um, it looks way better on camera. It, it kind of looks like there's nothing, actually you can kind of see a little bit right here. But um, in real life, there's still a lot of the texture underneath, or the pattern underneath, whatever. So this one's going to need another coat. I'm not going to record every single coat of this, or this video is just going to be way too long. It's already a bit too long in the first place. But, um, I might just, you know, leave it at this, maybe touch up the yellow one a little bit more, and hang it on the wall, and then go back and paint it on my own time. So, let's, let's go. Okay, this yellow will not open. I might just have to leave it as is, and just move on with my life for now because I cannot get this thing open. I've been trying so, so long. My hands really hurt. Oh my gosh. It's like glued. I don't know what happened. I don't know. But I'm going to just let these dry. And through the power of editing, I will skip to the part where I put them on the wall, which is right behind the cameras. Or the camera. Right there. So let's go. Alright, so I did say I was going to put them on the wall next, but I forgot about the glue part. So I have to do this. I got this type of glue. It says... Where? Where does it say? I can't see. Multi-use. And it says somewhere down here that it's it can do metal. I don't think you can see that. But I promise it says on the packaging that it can do metal. So... We're gonna see about that, but first, 
we need to glue these two back together. They stuck together while they were sitting here, but not enough. You gotta glue these two back together and then glue them in a diamond shape, something like that, to these. So let's glue them together. Just drip some on the table. Gotta make sure I don't lean in that. I'm wearing my Connor jacket because I'm going to be recording a Let's Play right after this and it's cold in here. So I said, why not? Why not just put it on preemptively? Okay, set these down like that. Let them dry. No, oh, okay. <laughs> no, stay, oh my gosh. Stay together. I'm going to have to sit here and hold these together until they dry, aren't I? This is great. After holding that together for a very long time, I decided to put it down and work on painting the inside of the other ones. I kind of quit after this because it just took way too long and I wasn't about to sit there and paint all the insides of all the tubes. So I'm just going to do that on my own time, but for now, just the orange one is painted. So now I am going to put these things on, these little tooth toothy things on, and I decided to to glue them both on the bottom and on the top, as you can see right here, um, just to reinforce them because this glue didn't really work when I was gluing one of these things to a picture frame. So, I finished gluing everything. I didn't glow, glow. I didn't glue them together like this because I just, just don't want to. And I can just mount them like this on the wall. It's no big deal. I don't have to glue them that way. But I glued these, and they seem to be sticking pretty well. So that's good. They're not falling off. And I. <laughs> I attempted to paint inside of here. It worked, but I just don't feel like painting the rest of the insides of these. I just want to get this video done and over with. It's been so long since I started this video, so we're just gonna try to mount these like this, and I'll do that on my own time. First, we're gonna try to mount them with a thumbtack. I doubt it's gonna work. But we're gonna try anyway, and if not, I just, I guess I'll just hammer. Alright, so that doesn't work at all. As you can see, it, it, does, it just, it doesn't work at all. With the thumbtacks. Just hangs. So, I guess I'm going to have to try hammering this to the wall. So, I'm going to do that. So I got a small hammer and some nails, and we're going to attempt to hammer where these little holes are and see if it works that way. It should work this way because that's how it worked in the video.
so that's as good as I'm going to get it. Um, it's not super secure on the wall. I'm not like see, it still kind of kind of hangs a little bit. I don't I don't know why. I'm not sure if that's actually going to hold anything because it, it, it's dipping forward. I'm going to get my Copics and see if this actually holds anything. All right, so I just grabbed a big handful of markers. Let's see if this works. Uh, I mean, it holds. It holds the markers, so I guess I guess it works. All right, let's put the other two up. So, I got them all mounted on the wall. They're sticking there. They're not going anywhere unless I pull them off. They're kind of slanted a little bit like this, but it's not enough to make it so the markers will fall out. So I'm going to get my the rest of my Copic markers and put them all in here as much as I can because it's not enough for all the colors that I have. But I will be doing more. I have the rest of the tube down there. And I guess I'll make like an updated video on this when I have everything done and up on my wall. So, without further ado, let's finish this and put the markers in. I'm ready. And here's the final shots of all of them put together with all the markers that I own in them. I think it worked pretty well. They're still a little bit slanted, but whatever. It's going to have to do for now. I'm going to figure out what to do later. But for now, I hope you guys liked it and have a great day.